bought this carburetor off Craigslist, and uh, it's for a 1971 six horsepower Johnson or Evan Rude. And you can see that it has a lot of uh, white oxidized, I think this is zinc oxidized, zinc oxidized corrosion. And um, I read online where you could soak carburetors like these uh, in vinegar and it would remove all the zinc or, or the oxidiz oxidization off of the carburetor. So I'm going to take this apart, get a little uh, more simplistic and dip it in some vinegar and show uh, you guys hopefully that it works. If not, we're going to figure out what will work and uh, move on. So this is the, the white stuff that I'm talking about. Hopefully that can come through, but it's just like a light film corrosion that um, typically doesn't come off if you just spray a carb cleaner or say acetone or, or even gas on it. I mean, if you scrub it a little bit, um, I've had it come off, but sometimes after everything dries out, it, it kind of sticks around. So I'm hoping this vinegar acid will will kind of etch that off the surface and uh, further aid um, whenever we go to clean it again, you know, with the carb cleaner, that that it'll come off permanently and we'll get that clean metal look. So the bowl is off and I'm gonna get some vinegar and uh, let it soak overnight and see what happens. Using just white distilled vinegar that you get from the store and I'm not diluting it or anything, I'm just pouring it in there, covering it. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. All right, so it's soaked uh, about 24 hours and it looks a lot better. Um, I'm gonna dry it off and uh, make sure that just the, the wetness isn't trying to hide anything. All right, so I've dried it off and it didn't look to help all that much. You can still see the the white corrosion or varnish on the metal. So I'm gonna to try to uh, use a little vinegar and a toothbrush and, and see if that works. All right, so I've used the toothbrush and you see that white stuff right there? That's some of the corrosion that I didn't get off with the toothbrush after I brushed it pretty good with uh, vinegar and then air dry or dried it off with a compressor. It looks pretty good. I don't know how clear that's coming in, but I think the corrosion that you still see, there's some more white corrosion there, but just the the corrosion, those darker spots you can kind of see, I think those are just where uh, it's old and the metal's pitted. So yeah, you can see down in there where I still got to get, I couldn't get the toothbrush very well down in there. So I think the bottom line is, is if uh, you have a carburetor body and it's got the zinc oxide corrosion, I think is what it is. Um, if you let it soak in vinegar overnight and then take a toothbrush to it, uh, you should be able to clean it up pretty good. So, anyway, I thought I'd share that. Um, check out my page. My other videos are a lot more uh, detailed on how to rebuild carburetors and such and lower units on old Johnson and Evernerds. And uh, if this helped you out or any of the other videos helped you out, please uh, give me a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.